Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your orthodontic revenue pearl of the week. If you want to increase your revenue and you want to increase your revenue every single year, you need to periodically reevaluate your schedule and orthodontic practices wait too long. That's my warning. You want to redo your schedule at least every three years, 36 months. The world's changing, techniques are changing, technology's changing, and what happens is there's a lag time from the last time you really analyzed your schedule, which I'm going to tell you how to do, to when you reanalyze it again, and in that lag time, you're losing huge opportunity. We know that every orthodontic practice has a 30 to 50% growth potential over the next three years. And that's a combination of excellent systems, excellent scripting, and training the team at the highest level. And this is a time of team uh, hiring, retaining, recruiting crisis. So you've gotta be, have great systems documented that the team can use for training back to the schedule. So one of the things that we teach, and we do this with every new management client, that's how important it is, is called procedural time studies. We literally time how long each procedure takes. Now you may think you know the answer, but you probably don't, at least if you haven't redone your schedule in three years. What happens is delegation in ortho, big factor. How well can you delegate to your team? Then you lose some assistance, you get new assistance. They're not up to speed yet. They may never be at the speed of the previous assistance. That's gonna lower your procedural time study result for efficiency. But in most cases, we pick up more time than we lose in the procedural time study, which means more patients can be put through. In a factory, that's called throughput. And don't get this bad image of a factory. Many factories are gorgeous and unbelievably efficient. You want to be that gorgeous and that efficient. So going forward, at least every three years, you need to redo procedural time studies. You time every service 10 times. You get the average. You can look at orthodontist time and staff time, but you really have to look at chair time. And as an example, when we pick up 10 minutes an hour, which is very common in our system, then the doctor picks up literally two extra months a year in a four day a week practice. How much extra revenue can you put through your practice every year if you had two extra months? And the best part, you don't have to work one more minute. As always, we wish you increasing practice revenue every year.